Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I'll show you a video about how to downgrade a PSP from the new version 6.61 back to an older version which is hackable. At first, um, my good friend Quick Razor modified the downgrader so it works on version 6.61, but I have to say you cannot downgrade to 6.60, so you have to downgrade to another version, for example 6.39 or 6.20. If you then want to update to 6.60, that is working. So you can see this PSP 1000 is running the version 6.61. And where is it? There's the downgrader. And the firmware updated for 6.39. I'm now going to <clears throat> run the downgrader and pretty much show you that you can downgrade the PSP from 6.61 to 6.39. If I now press X, it should start the downgrader or updater for 6.39. On my PSP 3000, I'm doing the very same. As you can see, it's a Japanese 3000. And here I'm doing the same, 6.20 and the downgrader. As you can see the PSP 1000 takes time to start the updater for 639 and after it started it you will see 6.39 it looks like as if you update to 6.39 even though we're technically on higher farmer and as long as your battery has more than, I think, 78% of charge, it will start the update right away. Otherwise, you have to charge your device. And as you can see, it's installing the version on my 3000. As you can see on the button, it's the 3000. I'm doing the very same. And on my PSP Go. I'm also doing the very thing. Downgrading from version. Uh, they opted for C61 and the downgrader. Okay. As you can see, I'm downgrading this 3000 to 6.20. And 6.20 even had a change lock, so one of the latest version which had a change lock in the farmer file. Same here, it's installing the update, no problems. And the same on PSP Go, it says your PSP Go will require the deletion of the resume game feature. So pretty much if I have a saved game and I want to downgrade my firmware it will delete the saved game but I can still use the feature of course. It's not deleting the feature, it's just deleting the saved game since we cannot use the saved game from 661 unlike 620. So yeah. 1000 is nearly finished, 3000 is a bit finished and Go still has to launch the updater. And as you can see it has 84%, now it will skip to 100 and it's done. If now restart the PSP 1000 it should be on 639 and it should be well capable, capable of running custom farmer. And as we can see it's now on version 6.39 and now I can install custom farmer. Do I have a 6.39 installer on here? 660, 660, 660. No, I don't. Whatever. It's not important.
the three cells and the cells are nearly finished. I hate that the updater has a white background. Can't see the white letters for shit. It says corrupted settings, but no, that's not a problem. Just press circle, the PSP will reboot, and you will be on a 620, which you can fully use. Once again, this stupid white background. Let's change it to something darker. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's now running 6.20, and now I can install Custom Farmer. For example, 6.20 for the LME. And I just noticed, if you try to downgrade the PSP Go, you have to have the updater file on the internal storage. It does not work if you have it on the memory stick, and unfortunately I had it on the memory stick. So I cannot show you that the downgrade on, this, on the Go was successful, but I think it should work regardless of me showing it or not. <clears throat> LME custom firmware installed, now we will launch it and then you can see you can easily downgrade from 661 to another version and install custom firmware. And this is a 04G PSP 3000 by the way. There are four different PSP 3000, the original 03, then the 04, then a 07 and a 09. If possible you really want a 0 or 03 or 04 because 07 and 09 are shit. I could explain why, but I'm not doing it. As you can see, now I'm running 620 LME 2.3 and I just downgraded this PSP from 661. I'm the dead and see you soon.